today we're going to talk about geometric sequence and our focus would be illustrating geometric sequence let's start so what is a geometric sequence a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant number and that non-zero constant number is what we call the common ratio denoted by the small letter r okay so let's have example so consider the sequence 2 6 18 54 and 162 we can consider or we call this sequence as a finite geometric sequence why finite we have here the first term and we have here the fifth term or we can say the last term so it's a finite geometric sequence each term of this sequence can be obtained by multiplying 3 from the preceding term. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. 18 times 3 is equal to 54. 54 times 3 is equal to 162. That constant number we multiplied uh, to get the next term of this sequence is called the common ratio. So the common ratio for this geometric sequence is equal to 3. To get the common ratio, all we have to do is to divide any term by its preceding term. So in this case, we can get the common ratio if we are going to divide 6 divided by 2, which gives us a 3. And then same goes with 18 divided by 6, gives us a 3. 54 divided by 18 is equal to 3 and uh, 162 divided by 54 will give us a 3 so that tells us and gives us that the common ratio is equal to 3 and if a sequence has a common ratio we call that sequence a geometric sequence example number two consider the sequence negative 3 6 negative 12 positive 24 and so on in this sequence now we call it as an infinite geometric sequence this three that's here is called an ellipsis which means the sequence continues so to get the common ratio we just have to divide any term by its preceding term okay so let's try this example given this sequence let's determine the next three term of the given sequence so for us to get the next three terms, we need the common ratio. And for us to find the common ratio up here, we need to divide any term by its preceding term. So let's try it. So if we're going to divide 6 divided by negative 3, the result will give us a negative 2. Um, negative 12 divided by 6 gives us a negative 2. Positive 24 divided by negative 12 gives us a negative 2 so which implies that our common ratio is negative 2 so our r is equal to negative 2 and since our r or our ratio is equal to negative 2 then we can get the next term by simply multiplying the fourth term with the common ratio of negative 2 so that's uh, 24 the fifth term can be obtained by multiplying 24 times negative 2 which gives us a negative 48. The sixth term is negative 48 times negative 2 is equal to positive 96. And the seventh term is equal to 96 times negative 2 which is equal to 192. So therefore, the next three terms are negative 48, positive 96, and 192. Let us have another example. Okay, determine the next three terms of the given sequence. 32, 16, 8, 4, and so on. So as I said a while ago, to find the common ratio, all you have to do is to divide any term from its preceding term. So with this uh, given, we divide 16 by 32. And don't be afraid, even though the result will be a fraction. So our 16 divided by 32 is 1 half. 
let's go with 8 divided by 16 which is also 1 half and 4 divided by 8 which is also 1 half which means that our common ratio our common ratio is 1 half so to get the next terms all we have to do is to multiply the fourth term with the common ratio one half to get the fifth term so since a sub 4 is equal to 4 therefore a sub 5 or the fifth term can be obtained by multiplying 4 times one half which gives you a 2 a sub 6 is 2 times one half which will give us a 1 and the seventh term which is 1 times the 1 half which gives us 1 half. Therefore, the next three terms are net 2, positive 1, and 1 half. Okay, so let's have our last example. So write the first five terms of a geometric sequence whose first term is 4 and a common ratio of 3. So, um, Let's list down first what we have from the given. What we know so far is that the first term is equal to 4. And we are looking for 5 terms. 3, 4, 5 terms. So our common ratio is also given which is equal to 3. So let's find the first 5 terms. So the first term is already 4. So to get the second term, we just have to multiply 4 times 3 which gives us a 12. Then to get the next term, that's 12 times 3, which gives us a 36. So 36 is our third term. To get the fourth term, that's 36 times 3. So what is 36 times 3? So if you want to multiply it quick, use your calculator. Or simply 30 times 3 is 90, and then 6 times 3 is 18. So 18 plus 90 is 108. I hope I make sense there. So 108 is our fourth term. And 108 times 3, same procedure, 100 times 3 is 300, and 8 times 3 is 24, so 300 plus 24 equals 324. So therefore, the first five terms are 4, 12, 36, 108, and 324. So that will be my last example for this video, and I hope you learned something from today's lesson. And uh, before seeing you to the next video, as always, I will leave the challenge question here beside me. Uh, so the challenge question is, create a five-term geometric sequence with a common ratio of a fraction negative one-third. Put your answers in the comments down below, and I'm going to see you on the next video. Peace.